All right, let's get into sports. Lots to get to. We start on the ice. The King is hosting the New York Rangers in game one of the Stanley Cup final. Do not call it finals or else. King's favored to win the cup for the second time in three years. There you go, I got that out. Uh, the Rangers, the underdogs, rested and hoping to use their speed to get the early jump on the Kings. Before all of that got going, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, who played for both these teams on hand for the ceremonial puck drop. And then, game on. After, after a scrambly start, Drew Doughty loses the puck to Benoit Pouliot about 13 minutes in. Pouliot scores. Beats Jonathan Quick to get things started. The Spurs with 15 in the first half. He was 6 of 7 from the floor. Spurs did get a little careless, though, with turnovers in the third. Letting Miami take the lead. But the tables would turn in the fourth. Temps inside the arena, they were approaching 31 degrees. And shortly after, LeBron makes the lay in there to cut the Spurs lead to two. He had to leave the game due to cramps, most likely based on the heat. He only played five minutes in the fourth, and San Antonio took advantage. They sealed it from beyond the arc. Kawhi Leonard knocks down the tray, then Tony Parker hitting one from downtown. LeBron was in obvious pain and unable to come back. And the Spurs, well, they take game one, 110-95. Game two, Sunday, back at the sauna. All right, the Blue Jays going for a sweep of the Tigers at Comerica Park after Falling behind 2-0, Jays get something going in the fourth against Justin Verlander. One run already in on a Deanna Navarro RBI single. Here's Eric Kratz. He's been great. He singles to left to bring in Adam Lind. And here comes Brett Lorre for the 3-2 lead. Let's go to the sixth. The Jays flex their muscles against the former Cy Young Award winner. Juan Francisco belts it into the seats. All this guy does is hit bombs. His 10th of the year. It's 5-3. Next man up, Brett Lorre. Still demonstrating his power this season. That's his tenth. Back-to-back -back jacks and a 6-3 lead. The Jays battered Verlander for six runs on eight hits and seven innings. Jay Happ provided the Jays with another strong start. Three runs on seven hits and six and a third. He would get the win. He's now 5-2. and two. Let's go to the ninth. Melky Cabrera. He'll step up. He goes yard. His home run total is also at 10. Jays win at 7-3. They complete the sweep. They've now run one five in a row, 19 of 23. Nothing can stop them. Casey Jansen got his 10th save, and the Jays, well, they have a five-and-a-half game lead on the Orioles, six on the Yankees. They welcome St. Louis into town for a weekend series starting tonight.